My name's Ryan Kaur and we're here at Supernova Comic Con and we're, uh, we're signing some autographs and saying hello to the fans. I mean, I'm here because of Game of Thrones, but I'm finding in the first, in the first couple of signings we're doing, there's a lot of sort of like callbacks to like, where were your early kids' television shows? Because it's a sci-fi fantasy sort of thing, so there's some calls out for Silver Sun, Blue Water High. But um, yeah, m m myself representing some, some House of the Dragon and there's some other Game of Thrones cats here as well. Most men would only have that kind of devotion toward a cousin. Or a brother. Or a son. It was pretty amazing. I mean, I, w I was just telling some of the fans here earlier, you know, when, you, when you're coming up being an actor and, and you're looking at those shows, the Brave Hearts, you know, the epics that are there, they're, they're the ones you want to do. And so being able to eventually, you know, after 20 years or whatever, sort of be involved in the shows that sort of made you want to be a part of the industry in the first place is kind of a dream come true. So it was pretty exciting. <laughs> I think Australians have a pretty incredible reputation overseas. I think we have an amazing work ethic, you know. I think we sort of grow up here doing 15, 16 scenes a day. You know, we have to do a lot with a lot less money and we have to do it really quick. So by the time we get over the States and the budgets go up and the time goes up, we're ready to sort of tackle anything. And I think that's why you see Australians represented sort of in a lot of these different streams across the world. <laughs> What the hell happened to us? Oh, but I've just finished being in a booth with Kia Roach Turner for about four days screaming. I looked like I've been in a shower by the end of it for my life. Actually, Nick Hammond, who's here with us today, one of our guests, his, his partner, Robin Nevin's in it. And I was, I was screaming with Robin Nevin trying to save her from dying from a monster spider. So I wouldn't be surprised if that finds its way to Comic-Con. But um, it's a really great homage to 90s films, practical effects. You know what you're going to get straight out of the box. And um, I think it's a really exciting sort of homage to 90s cinema and I think it'll be a really entertaining, fun fantasy film. Besides Eight-Legged Freaks and Arachnophobia, I don't think there's ever been a horror film specifically about a spider. Eight-Legged Freaks is kind of a comedy. Arachnophobia was like a little, a, a little fella. We're sort of trying to, we're trying to jump that. We've got Weta who made Lord of the Rings makeup. They've made our spider. We've got lots of gags aplenty. So if you're, if you're a Key Roach Turner fan, I think it'll be a pretty bloody good one. Oh, no!